I was an animator for Untouched, as well as I helped with concepts and ideas. I came up with the idea of having a marine section in our film. I'm quite passionate about marine life, so I really wanted to involve it, especially prehistoric marine life. The story follows the evolution of a cephalopod. A cephalopod literally means head foot, so that's like the group of animals that squid, octopus, and cuttlefish, so they're literally a head and feet. And so it starts off with the cephalopod as an ammonite, which is a prehistoric cephalopod that no longer exists. The ammonite evolving into a squid as it loses its shell. The squid evolves into a firefly squid, which exists today. And we watch as the squid swims into a cave and we see it light up. And this is also sort of showing its aging as it's, it started as a young ammonite and now is turned into an old firefly squid. It sort of represents its aging as well as evolution and then the squid goes off screen in the end. Throughout the making of the film, our roles became pretty clear. Me and Kiara were animators together. Polly would animate the evolution parts of the squid and I would animate just the squid in the cave. And for the last part that the third member was supposed to take on, we just split it in half. I animated on Procreate, so did Kiara, so that way we were able to share files between each other and that worked really well for us. It was my first time animating frame by frame. That was pretty new and hard to figure out on the spot. I had done stop motion before. I remember I've seen some processes before on YouTube where there were traditional animators, I think for Disney, and they were just draw frame by frame, so I thought that was probably the only way I could animate, so I just followed that. Being able to see how Kiara did it was really helpful, as well as um, some of my other friends are animators. I just sort of took on watching the techniques they used. <laughs> Polly designed the characters first in the first few weeks, and we would use that as a reference sheet for animating. and. The backgrounds were done by watercolour by the other people in the Hexad group. The backgrounds were a way to engage the visual arts students within the group to be able to contribute to the animation. I did work on some of the watercolour backgrounds for the ocean and other, like the forests. There was a lot of fun experimentation that the students and I were doing, creating watercolour backgrounds and Kiara and Polly very much had an idea of what colour the background should be or what type of scene it should be but the backgrounds I think fit really well within that context as well because they are watercolour and they are an underwater scene. The students started with stimulus so we looked at imagery from National Geographic and Australian Geographic and looking at underwater imagery and looking at underwater caves and the group chose kind of compositions that they liked there was a lot of experimentation with the backgrounds and then the students got in their group and then laid them all out and then started to work out well what backgrounds actually fit with the story um, and then if the background needed to be a little bit darker or a little bit you know more purple added to it to fit the scene then that it happened organically like that. I really advocated for Having prehistoric marine life, it's something I really love learning about. At first, when we all agreed on it, we sort of <laughs> dreamed a bit too big. <laughs> um, we were wanting to have like heaps of marine reptiles in the scene with prehistoric fish swimming around, the squids and the cephalopods. And then because of our ability to animate in the time, that idea had to change. But if I ever could and I had more time, I'd really love to try and do that. Well, I find it hard to socialise and make myself part of the group and that's one of my one of my biggest challenges and I felt that Hexad really quite helped me overcome that fear. So I was quite out of my comfort zone a lot of the time but I felt like it really helped me. So I'm glad it happened. It was pretty cool to see my work up like that. It was the first time I've ever done anything like that. Kiara's part of the animation is my favourite and I thought it looked so beautiful up on the screen. I felt proud, I think, <laughs> to see it. It was my first time animating. Um, obviously it's not perfect, but I thought I did all right. It's a really sweet 
colourful, visual kind of feast, I think, this digital animation. But yeah, I, I was really, yeah, very proud of the students. Yeah, I'm just glad that the project is actually over now. I guess taking on more of a leadership role in the group. Um, there were a lot of times where I had to take initiative or speak to teachers or organisers more often than I thought I would have to. It was so enchanting to see everybody, like a whole community of Bradfield put together such an amazing film, put all their minds together and it, it was just amazing. I just couldn't believe we pulled it off.